So let's continue with the greedy algorithms playlist. Today, for starting off, hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is non-overlapping intervals. So what is the problem stating? The problem states will be given an intervals array which will be having n intervals. Now the definition of an interval is it has a starting point, it has an ending point, right? Now your task is to figure out the minimum number of removals. Let's understand. So let me write down the intervals. First one is one two. Next one is two three. The next one is three four. And the next one is one three. So I've written down all the intervals. Now the question is asking you remove intervals, which which are making it overlapping. What is the definition of overlapping? Two comma two. Uh, you cannot call this overlapping. The definition of overlapping is something like this: one comma two and one comma three. They are overlapping. Somewhere they'll have to intersect. Not at the same ending and starting point. No. Apart from it, somewhere else. Two comma three. Is overlapping with one comma three, right? Now the question is asking you: Can you remove some intervals such that there is no overlap? Such that there is no overlap? You can say that. Okay, if I'll have to remove, what if I remove one comma two, and what if I remove two comma three, which is these two? If I remove these two, there is no overlap. One comma three and three comma four, there is no overlap. You might say this is an overlap. In this particular question, this is not considered to be an overlap. In all other interval questions. Yes, in this question, no. So there is no overlap. So can I say if I remove two intervals, I'll have an array which has no overlap. But the question is asking you find out the minimum removals. Just don't remove. Try to remove minimals, like the minimal number. So what I'll do is I'll remove one comma three. If I remove one comma three, that is one interval. One comma two, two comma three, three comma four. No overlap. No overlap, so I can still take this array, and there will be no overlap between them. There will be no non-overlapping intervals, so I can remove one, and my job will be done. Which is the minimal? Two removals or one removal? One. So they want you to return this number, nothing else. Yes. So there is a small prerequisite for this problem. Please go back and watch my video in the same playlist, which is n meetings in one room. There is the exact same problem. Is the inverse of this problem. You'll understand as I say. Okay, so imagine I just change this question to n meetings in one room. Imagine you're given the start date, end date, start date, end date, start date, end date, start date, end time rather. And I ask you, make sure that you arrange the maximum number of meetings in one given single room. Again, I'm assuming that you've seen the video on n meetings in one room. I'm assuming that. So. Given one meeting room, please arrange the maximum number of meetings. How how did we solve it? It is very simple, isn't it? What we did was we arranged everything by the end time. So that that means initially the first one is one comma two, which is this. Then there is a three comma four, which is this. Then there is a zero comma five, which is this. Then there is a five. Sorry. Then there is a five comma seven, which is this. Then there's a, a seven comma nine, which is this, and then there's a five comma nine. So what I did was, I arranged them in the order of the ending time, in the order of the ending time, right? Perfect. So I'll try to iterate. Can I perform one comma two? I can. So one meeting done. Can I perform three comma four? I can because the other meeting ends at two. Can I perform zero comma five? No, I cannot because. I just cannot because the last meeting will end at four and this is starting at zero, so I cannot. I just cannot. Perfect. Can I perform five comma seven? Yes. Can I perform seven comma nine? Yes. For this particular question, because seven and seven is not considered to be overlapping. For this question, I can. I can. Okay. Can I perform five comma nine? No. So at max, I can pick up four. Intervals and they are not overlapping. At max, I can pick up four intervals with the logic that I used in n meetings in one room, and they are not overlapping. How much did I leave out? How much did I leave out? Six was the total. I picked up four, so I left out two. Can I say two is the removal? Can I say two is the removal? I can. I can. Why not? Yeah, it's the same problem as I said. Inverse. 
you figure out the maximum intervals that you can have together. So, whatever is the max number and whatever is the left out, the left out is your answer. Done and dusted. Super simple, the same question, just the inverse. Can I write down the code? I think I can. I'll take the function. The function will be a 2D array of intervals. What do I need to do? I need to sort them according to the ending time. So maybe I can write sort array and I can write a comparator. I'll have to sort them according to the ending time. So maybe I can write the boolean comparator. You know, you always write it for two values. So maybe I can say, okay, I'll be given, what will I be given? I'll be given, basically it's storing an array, right? So value one and a value two. That That's typically going to be an array, which is coming to me. And I'm going to say, hey, listen, return. You're going to sort it according to the ending time. The faster it ends, it's better. So value one will have the ending time. If that's lesser than value two, perfect. Fine. That's going to be the comparator. Again, if you don't know how to write comparators, my STL video. I've explained comparator in depth over there. Perfect. Sort array, comma, comparators. Done and dusted. What's the next thing? I have to schedule. What is the maximum number of meetings I can do? So I know when I start, I can do the first meeting for sure. I can do the first meeting for sure. So I'll take the count as one. And I can say the last ending time can be kept as array of the zeroth index and the ending time. Because every index has two values, the start and end. I can take the ending value. Perfect. I can start iterating from i equal to 1 and I can go on till n minus 1. Very, very simple. What I can say is, hey, listen, this meeting, array of i of 0, it can be started if the start time is greater than the last end time because over here, there's a slightly different condition of overlap. In our other questions, this equal to will not be there. Perfect. If this is the case, I can say count will be count plus 1 and at the same time, I can say the last end time will be updated to array of i because it is ending at 1. So I know what is the maximum number of meetings. So I can straight away return the minimal removal to be n minus count and done and dusted. The same code as n meetings in one rule. And what is the time complexity? So there's a sorting. So there's definitely n logarithmic of n plus there's iteration. So there's a big O of n. Am I using any extra space? No, I'm not using. So that's a big O of 1. Yeah, that's it. That's the time complexity and the space complexity. Sometimes it's important to understand concepts. As you did see over here, if you knew this problem, there's nothing but an inverse because what we are trying to do is get the maximum uh, maximum intervals that are not overlapped. That's where you should have uh, got this, right? Don't worry, it'll come from practice. I've been practicing from long. That's why I can relate such easily. I'll come to you the more and more you practice. So that'll be it for this one. And if you're still now watching and if you've understood everything, please, please do consider giving us a like. And if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing to us as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's meet in some other video. Tell me about it. Whenever your heart is broken.